Hello everyone. I'm going to teach you how to make tater tot hot dish. It's a Minnesota thing that was made, invented here in Minnesota. And if you hear something in the background, it is the unaffil it is the unaffiliated doing their show. So I'm listening to them as I'm doing you. So the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheat and you want to preheat it to 450. So you want to get that going. And then recipe calls for a pound of burger a can of cream or mushroom soup a regular can and mixed vegetables or a can of corn with potato rocks well I've got three pounds of burger and this is all going into one pan and we'll go into a 9 by 13 9 by 13 and you want to what you want to do is you've got your pan heating up you want to take your and spray with some non-stick spray or olive oil or something like that so that you don't get things sticking to your pan. Just like that. And then you're going to want to brown your beef. Well, I'm using ground turkey. Perfect. So you just dump that in. And you're going to brown it. So what you're going to want to do is season. I recommend not using salt because there's a lot of salt and everything. So what I do is still a little bit frozen. Break it up. The leaner the better. The leaner the better. Pepper it up. And then you want to use some spices. Grab out some garlic powder. You can never have too much of that. A little bit of onion powder. Oh, and what left is all. And doesn't call for it. We'll throw some pepper in there. So I like to use spices straight from the garden unless you have to buy something. You know. So I've got, I'm not using sage or anything like that. I'm just using store bought spices. Which is all right. So you want to brown. Brown your meat. It's going to take a little bit for it to brown. And you know what's funny? I'm watching these two. I'm doing their show. And I don't even know how many people they've got on there. That's nice. But I'm trying to listen to them and doing the show, which is pretty funny. And I'm not even sure if I, my head's being cut off or anything. So...
which I can do this. And it lays that up a little bit. I think I'm getting caught. So I've never done this, this type of multitasking, a show and a show. <laughs> um, I have no idea what they're saying because I'm concentrating on here. Something about Jamin not getting his motorcycle fixed. But that's all right. That's all right. He's a busy man, so if he doesn't get fixed, he doesn't get fixed. Listen here, Miss Daisy. What do you think you're doing? Mm -hmm. Go lay down. Go on. Sorry about that. Got to keep the dogs in the, the living room, otherwise they're going to be in here bugging me. All six of them. So as this is browning, you've got your salt. Well, I put pepper in it, and then powder, garlic powder, and some paprika. Paprika is for taste. You know, it doesn't say so. It doesn't call for it in the recipe, but always fix it up to how you want it. And then. You want to get your strainer out because you want to drain the meat. And believe it or not, I got this recipe in a military cookbook that I've always had this before, but I got this in a military cookbook. Minnesotan Supporting Our Troops Cookbook. This was, came out back when Desert Storm happened. And people were sent over. This is a way to help support the troops, raise money for the troops. So, my mom and dad are in here in a few places with recipes. They got their calico bean recipe in there, which is an awesome dish. I'll do that some other time. But, uh, yeah, it, you know, and you can only get this through the people, military people of Minnesota. You can't get this cookbook in a retail store. Or not. It's through the families. And so, uh, you know, like I said, we're browning, bird, browning the turkey. I added more paprika for flavor. Now normally, this would be double the recipe. And actually, probably what I'm going to do is double the recipe. I, did, I basically did, but I'm just going to make two pans instead of one. I told the wife I was going to just make one pan. Well, I've got too much meat here just for one, one recipe. So. Trying something here. back onto YouTube. I do apologize.
Anyways, all right. Technical difficulties on the tablet. So, I don't even really need that. My oven's ready for 150. So what I'm going to do is since I'm going to make two pans, I can go side by side if I want. All right. So my rack is not going to Move my rack up for one more. So, yeah, I just burnt myself. Get another 9x13 because you're going to need it. If you double the recipe. So, I was talking to my son, my youngest, and he said to make sure people know that this is a hot dish and not a casserole. And he's right. You're putting it in casserole dishes, but it's not a casserole, it's a hot dish. Like I said, made here in Minnesota. Anyways, yeah, I know I can just feel it sucker burn, get heat. So, some Minnesota tips, and you know, oh, that really hurt, that I burnt myself good. So, some Minnesota facts, Mall of America, we really didn't want it. It cost the taxpayers money. Right, right there on, on my thumb, right there, that hurt. You know, so, but it's brought a lot of revenue in to Bloomington, so I guess I really don't mind. I will be right back. <laughs> Some other Minnesota things. Viking suck. Twin suck. The Timberwolves suck. And the wild are pretty decent, but they suck too. Um, I keep hoping the Vikings would have a Super Bowl season, but they never do. And then all my Green Bay friends tease me about all that shit. Yeah. No, I was like, at least our quarterbacks play when they're hurt. You know, they're not whips when they hurt their finger. Like Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Not to name names. But anyways. Now that this is most, this is brown. You're going to want to turn off the heat. And you're going to want to take it over to your strainer and drain it. Then, you know, what you're going to do is you're just going to put hamburger down on the bottom, and then you're going to spread your soup on top of the burger, and then you're going to put your vegetables and then your rounds. So I've got one pan in here. Got both my pans. Yeah. Let's move you here so you guys can see what more is going on. So you're not seeing all of me. Alright, so I've got get my can opener. I 
So, can opener, you want to open up your cans of cream of mushroom soup because while your burger is going, you're sitting here draining all that fat. You want to make sure. Get your soup open. I love this opener. It's from Pampered Chef. I like it because you got this button here. It's got the little clipper so you can pull the tops right off. Make sure you get a spatula because you're going to scrape the cans off. And you're going to take your burger. Still draining a little bit. You can just take it. Put half in here. Pound in the half here. Pound in the half here. Spread it out. Get the bottom cover. And sometimes you get rogue meat that likes to jump off. Out of the pan, just like that. So what I'll do is I'll just clean that up later. Put all the rest in this one. Get uh, this spread out. I might have to move some meat over into this one. Just a little, maybe not. And no, Jay Moon Star and Gray Star ain't coming on your show. <laughs> Not right now. Um, take one can, cream of mushroom soup. This is family size. I love the family size, and I don't get the one can. I just get the family size because I love my cream of mushroom soup. And then you just want to take that, get all the soup that you can out of there. and spread that out don't worry if you've got meat that's pulling away you can always move it back you know, so don't worry about it just spread it pretty evenly do that with this hey that came out pretty good so i don't have to really scrape that out i'm going to Make sure you throw all your garbage away when you're done. Don't leave it messed out on the counters. I'm kind of notorious for that in my family. But I clean up afterwards. So, that is spread pretty evenly. Now, get some scissors. We've got a big bag of peas. This is going to go to two pounds. And I'm using frozen peas. So that's not a big deal because you're just going to. You're going to cook anyway. So, if you got a clump, break it up. Don't worry about your hands being sanitary because you're basically the only ones that are the only one that's gonna eat it besides your family and your hands are already you know I mean they're pre-washed anyway, but your hands are what you're making, so don't worry about it. Spread that out. If you really want to, oh well, that's a lot of peas on this side. If you really want to. Wash your hands between things. Not a big deal. Now I've got for toppings. Well, 
before we move into that. I got my potato. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. The last time I did this, I organized them pretty well in rows like you're supposed to. But then I used up more than one bag to do this. So, and you're only supposed to use one bag. You get one that falls on the floor, you just pick it up, rinse it off, put it in the pan. You don't need to waste it. So, the pictures that you see will show you perfect rows, this and that. Yes, Lori, I didn't put perfect rows on mine. I'm sorry. Like, you do yours. And why do I say Lori? Because she's a dear, sweet friend. She's a sister. Um, I love her, and we just love giving each other crap all the time. You know. Um, so, yeah, I can get away with saying her name. I'm not name dropping them. We're just picking on I'm just picking on her. Get that all straightened out. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. Okay. It makes cutting a lot easier when you when you're done. So you want to pop those into the oven. Give that back for you. And you're making two pans, you don't have to go use two racks. Just throw them side by side. And since you're making both pans, one pan you're supposed to put in for 20 minutes. So, I'm doing two pans, so I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. Give it a little extra time to cook. And... When I'm done, I'll say this is done. I'll show you pictures of when we're done. These I found here in the other refrigerator is not one for me to use. So, I'm using two different cheese, marble jack and mozzarella. Usually you get by with cheddar. So, and just so if you want the recipe, There's the recipe for you. So you got time. There we go. So, while this is cooking, I'll, uh, you know, just, just give some talk, you know. I was going to say Minnesota facts, but you know, let's see. Minnesota's got the biggest freshwater lake, Lake Superior. We got the biggest mall, which is Mall of America. We got a, a football team that hasn't won the Super Bowl, but went to the Super Bowl four times. Um, 
and yes, we take everybody else's washed up players too. Oh well. Our sport teams generally suck, especially the Timberwolves. Yeah, Timberwolves. I, I'll take the Wild over the Timberwolves any day. And I'm not a hockey fan. You know. Um, but while this is cooking, you can just have a beer, a glass of wine, or something like that. Not a big deal. I'm still listening to the unaffiliated. <laughs> to the unaffiliated. I have no idea what they're talking about. Because I'm paying more attention to you, but I got it on. Doing a show while watching a show, basically. But anyways, Minnesota. Land of over 10,000 lakes. We got a what? Well, I want to say 15, but I don't think that's right. I think it's more closer to 11 or 12,000 lakes. Something like that. I did do a live earlier of this show to ramblings of my brain and shit like that. So not much I can really say of, you know, Minnesota facts and Minnesota things. You know, the only really great thing to come out of Minnesota is myself, personally. Um, sorry, that's true. Instead of Minnesota things, I just talked about um, Mediterranean diet. Um, since I've started that sucker, I have lost eight pounds. I mean, I'm not going to give out how much I weighed when I started and how much I weigh now. No, just like a woman, I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> Uh, I've lost eight pounds. It's mostly eating fish, you know. So we, I eat salmon, cod, tilapia, and I, and I make them in different recipes, so they're not always close to the same, but just different ways. More of Italian and Greek style cooking. Um, you can eat meat, chicken, pork, beef. You can have bacon. And bacon is so salty, you don't want to eat a lot of it. So, but you can have some. You can make BLTs and stuff like that, and you can have bacon. Um, and keep your portion size appropriate. Make sure you've got a veggie and a carb. I have, I serve rice. You know, I'm supposed to only have a third of rice with a meal. I... I have just about that with my meals and I'll have maybe a piece of low carb bread which is 10 grams of carbs in one slice instead of 22. It's out there and it doesn't taste bad. It tastes pretty dang good. Um, I expected it to be worse and it's actually pretty pretty decent. Um, I have two, if I'm hungry, I have two sandwiches versus one. So two sandwiches just go a little over one slice of bread. And one sandwich is, would be like 20, one slice of bread is 22. So I have two sandwiches when I get home and there's my carb load. And then I'll eat light carbs at dinner. You know, or hardly any carbs at dinner. So it's one trade off or another. Since I've been on this diet, I have lost, you know, like I said, lost eight pounds, but I don't feel the desire to drink as much. I never drink that much anyway, but I don't keep, I don't have the urge to go out and buy a beer or, or that or keep some. I do have some wine. I'm almost gone with that. So I'll have to pick some more up. My cravings for junk food has gone way down. I don't eat chips. I'll have some chips and salsa, but I don't eat potato chips or anything like that anymore. You know. Um, so my cravings for junk has gone down. My healthy eating has gone up. 
I can feel that my stomach muscles, you know, the tissue around my stomach get tighter and tighter. So I know I'm losing weight. And so this week kind of fell off my diet just a little bit. It, it's okay to splurge once in a while, but not all the time. So I've had, today's Wednesday, I had, we had pizza on Monday, too late to cook, so we ordered pizza. And then yesterday, I had a burger basket down at my legion where I had my meeting. So that wasn't in my diet, either one or in my diet, and neither is tater tot hot dish. But what I'm doing is keeping my consumption low so I can maintain my diet instead of blowing it out. I'm, I'm maintaining. So I'll have a little, a little piece about so big. And that'll be it. And I'm done for the night. And then I'll have a, I'll bring some, I'll have, save some for work for next week or something like that. So, but with that, I'm going to stop this video right here and then show you, and I'll turn it back on when it comes to the, the ending, you know, when it comes out, put cheese on it, put it back in and stuff. And I'll show you all that shortly when I come back. All right, welcome back. I have now tater tot hot dish out of the oven. Been beat a couple times I was on. Be unaffiliated. Thank you, Gray Star. Thank you, Jamin. Love y'all. Love you both. There's one thing. There's the other Now I've got my marble deck. And my mozzarella. Uh, I, I what you want to do. You shake your hand. Handful of cheese. Spread it on there. I get that. I get that. Don't worry. Don't be stingy. I'm not monetized yet. And I don't plan to monetize. Be generous with your cheese. The more cheese, the more flavor it adds. You don't have to use all of the cheese, but you know. That's right. No process. I mean, my family loves cheese, so I'll use quite a bit. It's true. Just don't put pickles on this, otherwise I'll slap you if I ever find out you did that. So when you're out at the Renaissance, pickle juice is one of the best things that you can have to hydrate yourself. You know, stay hydrated. So, yeah. I got my marble jack on top of my mozzarella. This is a bit of that jack, so. We're really going to make this cheesy. Just like that. Look at that. Oh, so what you're going to do is put this on. Put this back in the oven. Because you're going to want the cheese to melt. So you put her back in for about three minutes. Oh, three minutes. Try again. Well, it came back a little bit ago, but the wife came home and all the dogs started barking. So I felt it was best to not have all the noise, let the dogs out and do their thing, and then it's quiet. You can hear the unaffiliated, unaffiliated in the background, maybe. Like I said, I love these guys. So many shout outs to them. I thank them for their support. So. What am I going to talk about for three minutes? 
Wow. Huh. Let's see, I could oh how to piss off your boss, how to piss off your neighbor. Not gonna talk about how to piss off your wife. No, nope. I wanna live. And by the way, she's over here laughing. That's because that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> you know. Um you ever you ever know notice how a boss is like a diaper? Always on your ass and full of shit. You know, so much for a cooking show with, you know. Gotta remember, I'm a biker. All bets are off when it comes to language. So, um, but really, you know, Mediterranean diet. I've lost eight pounds. I wear a size 38, 40 waist. And my pants are starting to get loose. I'm gonna have I keep pulling them up. I'm gonna have to get a whole new belt just to for my pants. You know, it works. It's it's I'm almost been on it for two months and I've almost lost a total of ten pounds. It does work. You gotta stick with it though. Portion size is the big thing. Um you don't want to carb load, you know, watch your carbs. If you decide that you don't want to follow the diet for a few days. Make sure that you eat less carbs. You know, don't go hog wild because you're going to splurge. Watch your carbs, you know. You're, you're going to eat all this, which isn't part of your diet. So don't load up on carbs. Watch your carbs and then you, you should be fine, you know. But 17 seconds before this timer goes off. So we pull it out so I can show you the finished product. I'll switch this. Yeah, this is my dirty stove, by the way. When you cook, your stove never stays clean. Timer goes off. We turn the oven off because we don't need that on anymore. And out it comes. I said quit. Not one, not but fun. two pans. What I will do is remove this from my tripod. Three minutes in, and your cheese is perfectly melted. Now you're supposed to let this, you can let this rest for a minute and or two and it all it does is it's just going to stay cooking so it doesn't you know let it cool down for about a minute or two then dish it right up um don't be don't get mad or upset if when you're doing it it when you when you scoop it out onto your plate that it falls apart don't worry about it it's all it's all it's all good. You know, when you cook, things don't always go as planned. You know, they don't always, like, the food doesn't always stay together. Even lasagna, it falls apart. That's an Italian thing. They don't do it right. But neither do us Americans, so. Um, so I'm going to cut this open. I'm not going to wait for it to be a minute. You know, cut this open. And. As you can see, this is starting to fall apart. I'll have another portion about that big. But as you can see. Everything cooks in well. If you want to add mushrooms to your cream, you know, when you do cream or mushroom soup, I highly recommend it. You know. Scoop out the rest of this that fell out. And that's your tater tot hot dish. That is how that is supposed to look. When it comes out, it falls apart.
I hope you enjoyed this, the video on how to make tater tot hot dish, which is a Minnesota original trivia. There you go, fun facts. And remember, it's not a casserole, it's a hot dish in a hot pan, so yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the my video on how to make tater tot hot dish. And I wish you all a nice and safe, ha and safe happy night. Keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up and be a decent human. Have a good night.